Hey, what's going on everyone? Nick here from the Divi Project, hanging out today here at the beautiful Petco Park. You know, a lot of people ask me, hey Nick, so what are these masternodes that you're always talking about? So I figured today I'd dedicate a little bit of time to talk about what masternodes are. Uh, so let's start with a little bit of history on masternodes. So masternodes were originally developed by uh, Dash, and Dash used to be called dark coins and basically they wanted to add an anonymous feature to their protocol and they felt that they could accomplish this by adding uh, masternodes which are basically a staking mechanism that allow anyone who hold at least a thousand dash to run one. So there are a couple ways you can run a masternode. Um, traditionally you can either run it locally on your home computer or you can set up what's called a VPS, which is a virtual private server, like Amazon Web Services, DigitalOcean, Vulture, there's a bunch of different services that you can use. Um, if you've ever dealt with hosting, then you probably already know how to set one of these up. Essentially all you do is you create a wallet on the server and you send your thousand coins to that wallet. Then you can configure your masternode and start the protocol. And anybody that wants to send an anonymous transaction uh, can do so, and your node, which is basically broadcasting to the network that, hey, I'm a master node, can then take those transactions, verify them, and do what is called mixing or obfuscation, and which basically takes your transaction, mixes it all up, hides the details of the transaction from the outside world, and then sends it to the recipient. Um, so that's basically how you get one set up. So when you run a master node, you actually get paid for verifying transactions in the network like we just talked about. And it really doesn't cost a lot to run one. It doesn't take a lot of electricity and you can pretty much set it up on any old computer that you have or a VPS which costs as little as $5 a month. So it's really truly a beautiful thing because it costs less electricity than mining. It's better on the environment. It costs next to nothing to run it generally. And you get paid. So it's currently actually the best way to earn income in cryptocurrency. So what happens if you don't have enough coins to run your own masternode? I mean, right now, a thousand dash would cost you nearly half a million dollars US. Well, there are some options. I mean, there are masternode pools out there that you can join, but those come with their own set of caveats as well. And you have to trust everyone in the pool. You have to all agree on where the masternode will pay out to and there could be fees associated with the pool over just hosting it yourself. So this presents its own set of difficulties. But fear not, there is another option of which Divi will be the first of its kind, which are called multiple tiered masternodes. In fact, we have five different tiers of masternodes in our network. Each of these varying tiers has its own bonus structure. So the more you stake or the more you hold in your masternode, the more you earn. You can find out a lot more about how that bonus structure works if you check out our calculator in the link below. Now, I always encourage everyone to do their research, check out all the other masternode coins out there, and I hope that you'll find that the simplicity behind Divi's masternodes is what encourages you to really get that masternode portfolio started. So, once again, guys, right here from Petco Park, beautiful Padres Stadium in San Diego, I'm Nick Sapinero. I really hope this video was informative. And if it was, please subscribe, like the video, find us on Telegram. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly. I'm always around and happy to answer. I'll see you guys next time.